Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. Now you know about realistic art suppliers and how to use these suppliers. It is very important to know how to draw the skin. So I will show you in this tutorial how to draw the skin. So as you can see I will show you how to add pores and freckles also these beautiful highlights on the skin. So let's see how we can draw realistic. If you're new to my channel, subscribe and don't forget about the bell notification to be notified when the videos come out. So let's draw together. When I draw the skin, guys, I'm starting with the base and also I will present all my necessary suppliers during the process. So using HB grade following the reference photo, the first thing to do is shade very soft. As you can see, I have already half of the face done. So I will explain how to draw this type of skin, adding the necessary details, pore freckles and everything we need for the portrait. So we're taking the reference photo for first layer and I'm using HB grade mechanical pencil. And as I told you guys, uh, when I'm working a portrait where I have to deal with dark tone, I'm taking straight away dark tone after the first layer and I'll explain everything step by step. But first we need to build the base. So I'm gonna shade soft the first layer. You will see very easy tutorial, even for beginners to become professional artists. Remember for highlights guys, where you have highlights, we don't draw there. So using HB grade, you can use even pencils, don't need necessarily to use mechanical pencil, but I like to use mechanical pencil, it's very soft and very easy to use. As I told you first, we need to build a base. I will cross with the second layer very soft. So that I call the base preparing the skin for work. Now I'm gonna use toilet paper. My way to use toilet paper is checking for the soft part. As you can see, I have a small square. I divide this into parts, split a bit the corner and very soft on my paper. I shade very soft by small circles so I can have the base for the skin. Always when you draw the skin, start to draw the base first and after that you can add shadows and necessary details and I'll explain everything you need to know. Remember, when you shade, you will need to rebuild again. As you can see, I started already to add a bit shadows where I need, only using toilet paper. But the second layer will be shadowing, so don't worry. I will show you my way to shadow. This time I'm changing the grade, I'm going on 4B mechanical pencil and very soft I'm looking for shadows or necessary shadows. If I need darker I repeat the procedure, I repeat the same step. I need only outline guys and as you can see I can draw a masterpiece so that's why I'm here to show you how to draw professional even from beginners easy lessons to learn. Now we're taking for the shadows and I'm using mechanical pencil because I can add as much details as I want. I can keep sharp and it's very useful for me. As you can see guys, the shadows and also the highlights are very important in my portrait. So I'm working slowly and easy, following the reference photo, going close with the reference photo. Also, as I told you before, when I have to deal with dark tones, I'm taking AB grade and I'm going straight away to AB grade. By circles, I'm working in layers, looking for shadows. Also guys, here I have parts of the hair to draw, so for this I'm gonna help with dotting tool. If you don't know about dotting tool, you have tutorial about my art supply presentation and you will find that. So with dotting tool, we help to make realistic parts of the hair, so we can continue with the drawing. Also when we draw hair, I will explain how to use dotting tool to draw the professional artist. I'm using this only to keep the details where they are. After this we're adding a bit eraser. Remember very sharp eraser. And now I'm continuing with 8B grade because I have the details for the hair. I can continue with the rest of the shadow. As you can see, because I use dotting tool, the details for the hair is still visible and very realistic. Even if you work for shadows, guys, working layers, just follow my steps. 
I like to use dark grays when I have to deal with dark tones. So for me it's not necessary to use HB gray or different gray here. But don't worry, I'm here and I'll explain everything you need to know. I have already the third layer to achieve this dark tone. If you remember for dark tone I have hard brush and I'm always using that. It helps to make the tone smooth and I can make dark as I want. It's about this brush. I'm gonna use very soft and as you can see the graphite on my paper from AB Gray become dark and also smooth in the same time. You just need to take your time to draw, follow always the reference photo and you will draw as a professional artist. Now for B Gray to finish in with the shadows. This time I'm going small circles. Also as you can see we need to work in gradients even for shadows. And now you know how to draw gradient. Combine the graphite pencils. As you can see with the same pencil I can go in more grades by adding a bit pressure on my pencil to add the necessary shadows. That's probably grade mechanical pencil. You will see guys till the end you don't need too many grades of the pencil from the set. To draw in realistic face you can work only with mechanical pencils, HB grade and 4B grade and just use a few suppliers. And I will show you what suppliers we're talking about. If you draw slowly step by step you will see you can upgrade your skill and learn to draw. As you can see guys I'm working by proportions, not more than 2 cm square. Following the reference photo I don't want to miss anything. I'm just looking to fill in the paper with the graphite. And we'll be talking about details later. Also guys if you want to change the grade to work ingredients, follow my steps as you can see now I'm just rotating the pencil slowly so I can keep the refill sharp and this helped me also to add a bit dark tone on my paper. Just this simple trick, rotate your pencil very very slowly and you will see the effect on the paper you will change. So remember the first step to do is build a base, start with first layer very soft and keep the highlights where they are as I did before and the second step is add shadows, necessary shadows don't add the details yet I'm always work details last time I'm looking now for details and I'm going very slowly top of the mouth let's add a bit of red paper to soften this layer to see what's happened and very soft by small circles I'm looking to fill in the paper with the graphite. Even from the dark tone, as you can see, I build very nice gradient on Joe Lennon face. Don't need to press with the toilet paper as well, very soft. And when you have too much graphite on a toilet paper, turn the clean side to work with the clean side. Also, I can build a bit shadow from the glosses on the cheek as well. If I need more shadows, I'm coming with one more layer, but this time very light using the same grade but for this time the shade will be different because I'm gonna use cotton balls so remember the first two layers we shade with toilet paper to achieve the color of the tone and after that we're coming with another layer for last shadows we shade very soft using cotton balls as you can see as I did in the other side, cotton bud is very helpful to add very very nice and soft texture on the skin. Some people are using blending stone here, it's okay with blending stone, but for me it's better cotton bud. I'm coming now with outline also, and as you can see this time the outline is a different way to do so, because I will have a bit facial hair to draw here, so I'm keeping the line in the same way as I did on the other side as well. Also I'm working with blending stoop again today, so you will see blending stoop is very important in realistic drawing. And I will show you in a minute how to add details, how I add the details, going close with the reference photo. I'm using blending stoop, you can use number 2 as well here. We blend very soft, starting from the outline outside where the hair part is. I can blend in the same way as I draw with a pencil up and down on the lines but very soft. Make sure you not get with the blending soap inside of the face skin. As you can see the shadows and the details 
are very important for me so I'm drawing slowly every step also we're working layers and following the reference photo we're looking for the shape of the face adding the necessary shadows as I told you before this type of shade now we're working with cotton buds so everything we draw from now it will be shaded by cotton buds now you see guys in my tutorials why I don't draw the outline for the mouth to make the perfect realistic portrait and if I'm coming with the shadows for the top of the mouth you will see the portrait become realistic with necessary details we blend this soft I'm looking to mix the gradient to make the perfect shape of the face if you will follow all my steps you will see it's not very hard to draw even if it's looking like a masterpiece because I will give you all the necessary details to see how to do in easy ways quick learning let's see how to add pores my way to add pores is using eraser very very nice eraser for me Faber Castell Perfection Germany collection so first thing to do is adding some dots on the face where I need following the reference photo I'm checking for the maximum details I do my best to make them perfect and I'm going with eraser random everywhere so I can imitate the skin but remember very soft because that's my way to draw realistic skin just follow my steps to see how the skin changing I like to use this eraser because it's very easy to use and also give me realistic details just erase random on the face and you will see how many effects you can add your portrait as you can see when I shade the shape of the face I came inside with toilet paper but I'm not worried because that's why I have eraser to clean and by circles keeping the eraser for longer in the same place I will hide lighting back all necessary highlights so I recommend this eraser if you want to work with this you have the link in the description can be found on Amazon I'm very happy since I discovered this eraser because it helped me to make more realistic portraits so I recommend to you guys if you don't have this eraser it's not a problem you can use also Tombow Mono Zero eraser but it's not expensive so you can achieve one and now let's see what's happened when I'm cleaning this it's a perfect skin with perfect highlights exactly like in a reference photo is and I'll keep going with this dotting all over the face where I need as you can see we can draw realistic only adding this type of erase using eraser and I will show you how I add freckles and how to finish to draw the pores as you can see guys you don't need too much time to draw a face on your portrait because there's more way to do and I'll show you my way and it's quite faster and looking realistic and now we're coming with necessary shadows what we need to do and also the details how to add the freckles and the details using 4B mechanical pencil I'm taking the reference photo and just if it's necessary by pressing the pencil I'm adding the details as you can see it's not necessary always to press in with a pencil sometimes you need to work soft and light hope you like my tutorials guys because I use your regarding I will come in with colored pencils tutorials as well so I can teach you everything I know don't need to draw all details or freckles we're coming with number one blending stone to blend them because if you draw too many you can't blend everything and you will miss some now with 4B, coming for the last time with shadows, with necessary shadows, to add maximum effect on our portrait. We can use blending stone for this type of blend or cotton buds. And now we keep going with the details for the pores as well. I will blend this. As you can see guys, slowly, slowly adding the necessary details. We're going close with the reference photo. Here we are happy with the portrait done. We blend the dots by dotting. Also, I'm blending this with cotton buds to soften the parts for the shadows. Keep going to play with mechanical pencil for necessary details and blend with cotton buds. 
but as you can see, very light. And now I'm going to use the grade of the pencil, and I'm going on HB grade, and I'm going very soft by dotting, imitating the skin or the portrait. Also, we draw the necessary pores using HB grade, drawing the skin realistic. And I'll blend again. Make sure you blend only the dots when you draw the details. To, don't get with the blending stone into the highlights. Remember guys, you can dotting even with blending stone. If you see light, as I do now. Okay, now we're drawing this part of the mouth, top of the mouth. So, same gray. I draw the shadow first. And I'm using cotton bud to mix the graphite with white side of the paper. Also building a gradient. I need again a B gray. Remember for the dark tone, we're drawing with AB grade. And now I'm coming back for HB grade and coming with the rest of the details. As you can see guys, even now I can add a bit details drawing them out. So for me the details are very important. And now by dotting and soft shadowing, again I'm using blending stone. Just follow my steps for adding these details. Thank you very much for your time guys. So this is my way to draw realistic skin. Hope you enjoy the video guys. And don't forget, before to start a portrait, cover with a blank paper. Keep your portrait till the end clean. Sharp very well your pencils. Also, you can rotate slowly the pencil to maintain sharp. If you're new to my channel, subscribe on my channel. And don't forget about the bell notification. Also, big thank to everyone for support guys. Hope you like my way to draw skin. Hope this tutorial will be easy to learn. And don't forget we have more tutorials till the end of the portrait. I'm Raul, admin on Graphite Pencil by Raul Art. Raul underscore UK08 on Instagram. Raul Art 5 TikTok. So big thank to everyone for your support guys. I'm here to help people and teach people how to draw realistic. And if you're happy with my way of drawing, stay with me for more to improve your drawing skill. As you can see, you don't need to use too many suppliers to draw realistic. I use only mechanical pencil. Just if I need, I'm using AB gray. But I like to teaching you guys everything I know. Stay with me till the end and we'll keep going with neck. Easy drawing for the neck as well. And after that we can start hair drawing. A lot of details I will show you how to draw hair. We don't need too many suppliers to draw realistic. If you're a beginner, you can call this hyper realistic. I'm so happy you're with me guys and I can teaching you how to draw realistic. Stay safe guys and see you in the next tutorial.